I really enjoy working with Keith, and then the opportunity to get back home. My son's going to school in West Virginia Wesleyan. Uh, you know, we're 25 minutes from my mom, an hour from my mother-in-law. So, you know, just with that opportunity to get back home and to be a part of West Virginia football again, it was very exciting and opportunity I could have passed Tell me about what it was like to it couldn't have been easy to, to walk in the ride, or if you didn't walk in the ride, or, you know, yeah. I mean, that couldn't have been an easy thing to do. Yeah, you know, it was when you when you work with the staff and I, guys I, I so long. I had to you live yeah. in different places, I know yeah. what it's like. <laughs> yeah, it, it was tough, but, you know, I, I have to make decisions that, you know, not only affect me professionally, but, you know, personally also. And I felt that this was the best opportunity. And, you know, when I left here after the 2007 season, you know, I, when I left, I always cared about what West Virginia was doing and I always was, you know, watching it and, and always wanted to be a part of it again and I never thought I'd get the opportunity and, and when Coach Hogerson and Coach Patterson, we talked and, and I had the opportunity, I jumped all over as soon as I could and accepted the job and the rest is history. Is it, is it, uh, do you feel like you're back home now? Oh, no, no doubt about it. It's uh, Sunday after recruits left, I didn't have to go recruiting. I rode up to Uniontown to my mom's house and ate spaghetti and she washed my clothes so it was, uh, everything was all good. Did your mom wash your clothes? Yes, she did. <laughs> Sorry for party talking about this, but what was it like coming in, uh, obviously mid-recruiting mid season, being able to hit the ground running and kind of have the impact that you guys did? Well, you know, any time that you get thrown into it, that's why you got to go with guys that you have a relationship with. And, and with Mario and Brandon, you know, I had a great relationship with those guys. And, and all I had to do was sell them on West Virginia. And get them in and meet the you know meet the staff and guys are going to be coaching. Them. And when they came on a visit, they walked in the front doors and I knew we had them. So, I mean, they, they loved it here. They fit into what we do, our schemes and, and all that. So you know, it, it was pretty easy with those guys. You know, and just selling them what we had to offer. Is it hard doing that? I mean, obviously you would spend a lot of time selling them on on other aspects to to kind of flip the switch and now try to convince them to to change gears. Yeah, I mean, anytime you know you recruit them at a different school, and then you know you leave that school. But like I told them, situations change. It's not the same as it was. You know, the, yeah, the head coach is still there, the coordinators are in place, but you know the relationship that you build with a kid over a year, year and a half that you recruit them, you know, that, that's hard to replace. And you know, somebody that they can obviously lean on and do all that. And then once the recruiting process is over and they get here, then it goes more into the position coaches. And that's who they're going to have the relationship with. And, and when those guys came, you know, Mario and you know, Coach Galloway, he got along with him great. Uh, Brandon and Coach Patterson and Coach Slaughter both, you know, they, they had a great weekend together. And, you know, that's what that was all about. Get them here, let them get familiar with those guys that are going to be coaching. And I thought they felt very comfortable. And, and you know, they jumped on board.